Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again and today we have in front of us from Star Wars The Black Series RC1140 or Fixer from the Star Wars Republic Commando game which I never played but my younger brother did so I have like a mental image of these uh, characters but yeah, I don't have a real... I just got the figure because I like how it looks. It's the very first one I have from this uh, team. I am tempted to get the other ones, uh, but yeah, we'll start with this one and that will decide, you know, that will be the deciding factor if I like this figure. RC-1140 Fixer, an elite clone commander of the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars, served as a second in command for Delta Squad on missions to annihilate their enemies in Star Wars Republic Commando. Yeah, that sounds a bit vicious, but yeah. Then you have the legalese, that, the logo of the game, Star Wars Republic Commando Fixer looking cool. The same artwork at the side of the packaging and the figure with everything he comes with. And it doesn't look like an empty, but well, of course, the, the game logo here, the sticker he helps it a bit to look like fuller, yeah, but anyway, let's take this guy out and see how good he actually is. And there we have Fixer from the Republic Commando video game, out of the packaging and carrying everything he comes with, which is just the backpack and this gun, by the way, if you know the exact name or model of that blaster, Please leave it down there in the comment section below. And if you're watching this video, please leave a like, share and subscribe if you feel like so to help the channel grow and just to support it. You know, uh, I'll be very thankful or I'm very thankful in advance. So I really like how this figure looks. I really like that metallic blue visor. I mean, and in my copy, it was it's perfectly in place because I saw some copies uh, in shelves, in GameStop, here in, well, in this city I live in Germany, and <coughs> it was a bit like, uh, yeah, they were not perfectly there. But we my, have, the again, the blaster, which is the same we've seen with figures as Hunter, I think, also Wrecker, and well, all these clone, well, not all, I mean, the boss figure, and I don't know who else, I mean, it's not the first time we see this blaster. Here we have the backpack, also with green and gunmetal gray paint details. I don't know if we have seen this exact exact backpack before. Uh, I have to check the tech figure and whoever else. But it looks similar to the Hunter backpack. Well, I mean, they're all clones and, you know, special forces and all of that. Of course, I guess this is like, speci like a special sculpt for this specific character. At least, I guess. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. This guy has some nice sculpting there. I mean, is the if I'm right, is the very same body as Hunter and Boss and the other guy with the like red paint on it. I don't remember the name. Um, of course, this figure it has some weathering there. You can see it's nice, uh, but of course it has so much sculpt detail there that could benefit from a wash, I guess. So maybe, maybe. I'll do that after this video. You know, it's, I have a long list of figures which I'm like, maybe I'll do a wash. You know, I'll give it a wash. You know, I still have to do that. But I really like how the helmet looks. You can see it's a different paint uh, tone of white for the helmet and the chest piece because of the different plastics, because the helmet and the... I mean, I guess one of these is PVC and the other is ABS or something like that. I don't know about the plastics, but I've heard that in many videos from... Anthony's customs and such people. Anyway, you have the all the the paint all throughout the his suit or his armor. It's nicely applied, and of course, it has this like weathering. Like, I mean, it's not like new. This guy has been through some missions and survived, and his armor is like yeah, showing some action. I really like. I mean, this is the one I got first because this is the one I prefer paint uh, paint wise you know really? I mean it uh, this relation with like green and military you know and uh, it's no wacky I mean it's like the most uh, it makes the most sense to me and it's just the one I like most from the just by the looks I had I never played the game so I have no idea in that sense but uh, I mean about the character 
at least not yet, but I really like the the figure. Yeah, it's a nice sculpt. Of course, it's not the exact armors they were carrying in the game. I mean, I think they should be like... Well, if you played it, you know what I mean. Because I didn't, I don't have a, ment a real mental image of how they ar their armors really looked. I think they were like bulkier. But, well, this is what Hasbro has given us. In this particular character or this figure, I am happy. Now let's check the articulation, the head. Well, first of all, I think this side sculpt, I, don't, I think Boss doesn't have this like little antenna at the side. I still have to get the other figures to, to, to know or check on Google, you know. He can look upwards that far. He can look downwards that far, even when you push it all the way forward. Because, I mean, the, the helmet and the armor get on their way. On each other's way the it's a ball to the neck and a ball neck to the torso so he has all the wiggly wiggly there you can you have a lot of tilt to the sides and all the good stuff yeah that's a nice made uh, set articulation for the neck you can turn the arms all the way around if i'm right there's no butterfly joint in this sculpt but i mean you have the armor and all of that so it's okay uh, these pieces, just as with the hunter figure and all the guys who have, the, I mean, it's the floaty thing, you know, like between the arm and the torso, so you can turn it all the way around and it will, yeah, just be careful to not uh, tear it, you know. The arms can lift up that far, so that's great. I mean, of course, then you force these shoulders and I just told you not to tear them. Just be careful that you don't bite that plastic too much because you could just end up without shoulder armor uh, nothing at the bicep but you have your single jointed elbows that can bend slightly over 90 degrees but for armored characters i think that's okay and he has the i mean the, yeah there you have your like your by your swivel you know i mean actually i think that's how we actually do we humans us humans nothing on the gauntlet the, this hand can go all the way around and go in and out. The other one can go all the way around, of course, and this is the vertical one, so good to have at least. I mean, the little plastic here is a glued overlay. It gets a bit in the way, but I mean, if you had this armor, it would also get on the way. So, But still, he has enough movement to be able to adjust for positions, you know. He has a nice ball peg for the torso he can go he can go backwards that far he can bend forwards that far which i think is not bad for an armored character um has still to the sides and can go all the way around if you want i mean and then not, i don't have any resistance that makes me feel afraid of forcing anything you know the legs can go can do that far splits better than the captain america figure you know yeah uh, just a regular well, clone commando, you know. He can kick forward that far when you turn the... Of course, you have to turn the the hip here. Otherwise, the armor gets in, in the way. But he can kick. The knee pad is glued there, just as with the hunter figure. So it will stay there, whatever. you If you do, like, a kneeling pose, it will have some weird situations there. But, I mean, but you can do it. You know, you have a hip cut there a tie cut i mean can go i don't know if all the way around but actually almost anyway you have the turn there you know the the knees can bend that far it's just single jointed knees but they can bend just as far as the so that the armor clashes and so it makes sense there you have also like adjustment to the sides you know no boot cut but yeah uh, as and the feet can go backwards just one click because of the armor of course forwards they can go only that far but i mean again armored characters wearing armor and you have this uh, a decent ankle rocker even for an armored character i mean it, it looks natural you know yeah so again i really like how this guy looks i'm happy to finally have it these are a bit overpriced <laughs> well like everything has been nowadays they were overpriced before the at least the second price hike or something there you know the uh, gaming rates tax let's call it 
But now, pff, I don't know. I don't know how far things are going to get. So there you have your Clone Commando Fixer next to a Mighty Morphin Red Ranger from the Lightning Collection, a Cobra Viper Officer, a Crimson Guard, and the Retro Snake Eyes, also the Retro Crimson Guard from the G.I. Joe Classified line. There you have Clone Commando Fixer next to a couple of Stormtroopers and a Purge Trooper Phase 2. And there you have him next to Captain Rex, Hunter and Crosshair from the Bad Batch, looking great all together. And that's it for this review, I hope it was useful for you to decide if you want to get this figure. Uh, also that if it was entertaining and all of that. I like it. I, I, I like it, that's why I bought it. Not knowing anything from the character, but it's a clone commando and you know, you can have just a bunch of clones in different colors or whatever and they will just look good together. And yeah, please leave a like, share and subscribe. Uh, if I recommend it, I recommend it if you're willing to pay the price. If you get it on clearance, of course, get it, you know, but uh, yeah, the, the norm, the, I understand that the prices just have gone up and it's like not cool, you know, not cool Hasbro. I mean, we have the example of McFarlane not hiking the prices, uh, not at all or just a little bit in comparison, like you cannot even compare, you know. Anyway, good looking figure. I like the articulation it has for what it is or, you know, it's not like a G.I. Joe classified level or something, but it's still a good amount of articulation. Uh, yeah, I like it. Again, please leave a like, share and subscribe. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.